there are a couple ways to begin a, an embroidery project. Um, you need a knot somehow, but or you need to tuck it in. You can, in most cases, just tie a knot in the end of your thread and start in from the back, leaving the knot in the back. That's one way to do it, and that works. Sometimes the fabric is thin enough that you might be able to see through the fabric to the, to the threads behind, and then the knot isn't quite such a great idea. Or sometimes it makes a bump and you don't want to bump there. So here's another way that you can um, start without having a knot. First I'll cut this off so we can begin again. This is called an away knot. And it starts the same way. You tie a knot. And about three, four, five inches away from where you want to begin, you stick it in from the front and pull it through. And I'll leave it right there, the knot right on top. Then you go down to where you want to begin. I've arbitrarily chosen here. You get to do that when you're the creator. You can be arbitrary. And this length of thread just stays on the back. It's out of your way. It's out of the way of the design that I'm going to be stitching here. It's running right along here, so it's out of my way. That's why it's called an away knot. And you can begin your stitching. Here's another way to avoid making knots in the back of your work. I have my needle in the back. It's threaded up, ready to go. And I'm going to stick the needle through in the place where I want to begin, but very carefully pay attention to where that thread is. I'm going to hold on to it here with my thumb. I leave about an inch or so, and I kind of hang on to it lightly with my finger while I turn the work back over to the right side. Now I'm going to take a stitch. Go in, but turn it over. And when I make the next stitch, I just see I can see it pulling. Now just stop because I don't want to pull that out of the way. When I'm making my next stitch, I'm watching the top and the bottom so that I know that I didn't go too far. All right. Now this time when I pull it down, this is the back still. When I pull it down, I'm going to catch my end thread in this loop. Like that. And then as I'm pulling it tight, it kind of catches in there and holds it. All right? Now I'm going to go back to the top because I'm ready to come back again. And go, go in the fabric. Flip it over. And then when I'm coming back, remember from this back side, I'm going back into the hole I was in before. Just make sure that the embroidery thread gets into the loop so that you're locking it in place. Like that. One more ought to do it. Oh, look what's happened. I got on the wrong side of this thread here. No alarm. Just slide the needle underneath. There we go. I'm on the right side now. Otherwise it would be like this. And I want it to be all the same. So, okay. And one more time. In the fabric. Flip it over. like I'm going to do it again, but that's okay. I can fix it. This is not my favorite way to do this, but it does work, and you'll find your favorite way, and then you'll be off and spinning with it. Again, I'm on the wrong side of the thread, so I'm going to pull it that way. All right. Now that's enough. 
I'm going to go ahead and snip this thread so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And I can proceed making my making my stitches. Now I'm going to end my row here. I don't want it to show theoretically if if the fabric wasn't see-through or if the back would never show. I could just take my needle across to here or to anywhere, go to the next place, and it wouldn't matter. There could be a trail across the back and it wouldn't matter. But on this fabric, because it is rather see-through and I want the back to look rather pretty, I'll just turn the piece over and I'm going to run my stitches through the uh, threads on the back. I'll do that two or three times, three or four times. I feel more comfortable with three or four. And then use the scissors to cut it off. Let's say we're done with the design. We're not, but just for the sake of saying that, and so you'll know what to do at the end. We're going to turn this work over and weave this back in here the same way we weaved it on the other way. So, go back to the top gently pull that little knot up, cut, clip right underneath it, flip the work back over. This knot is now free. My needle threader got lost. Here it is. So I'm going to use a needle threader, thread this back through. And I can weave this thread in just the way we wove in the other end. In and out, in and out through the stitches, and then clipping it off. Now our back isn't as beautiful as the front, because our front is beautiful, but the back doesn't look bad at all, and it's definitely not going to show through to the front. And that's what we're going for. 